It's how you end your life. Because the hadith, he describes the man who will live pious all his life. And his last day he goes to kufur and he dies a disbeliever. Goes to hell. What was written for him. A man will be evil all his life. In his last day, he will change. And he will become good and he will enter paradise. So the point of that hadith is don't judge anybody. You don't know when or where or how. People go through hardships. To conclude, <sighs> hellfire is like that. It is a warning. Don't go here. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, everyone will go paradise. More good news. That's good news, isn't it? Well, I, you know, I thought, you know, that's great. That's it. You know, I didn't read the second part. <laughs> I only read the first part. Fantastic. Oof, things are better. Then I read the second part. The second part says, except for those of you who don't want to go paradise. So the companions asked, who doesn't want to go to paradise? Said, those who don't want to obey or believe. Those who don't want to follow or believe. And some, I, one atheist actually said to me, well, if I don't believe and then I go to hell, how's that fair? I said, sounds pretty fair to me, dude. And you're told, believe, man. But if you don't believe, it means it doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, why are you asking me this question? What are you worried about? Because in the fitrah, he remembers there's something I was supposed to do. And it bothers them forever. I pray it guides them. I pray for everyone's guidance. To conclude, the hellfire is such a warning that Allah describes this in Surah Qaf. He says, for those who go to hellfire, you know this God is such a merciful God. He forgives anything and everything, even blasphemy. If you were to repent. If you were to just repent. But, if you don't and you go into hell, subhanAllah, what a horrible thing. That ending is seriously a horrible place to enter. Because if you end up in hell, it means you skipped every possible opportunity. And there was nothing but evil in here. And that I hope is no one we know. None of us, hopefully no one. But it's up to the individuals who want to go there. So Allah says out of anger, because He loves us 70 times or more than even our own mother. He says, you preferred hell over being with me? I wanted paradise for you. Iblis came to Allah the moment he committed kufr. His life was finished. He was damned to hell. And Iblis, Satan said to God, he says, what is atika, ya Rab? First he said, oh Allah, let me live. Just give me time till the day of judgment. Let me live with them. Let's test these people you've chosen over me. And so Allah answered his dua and said, okay. You have this. So he said, well, izzatika, ya Rab, by, your, by your honor, O oh Allah, I swear that I will mislead them so long as their soul remains in their body. Meaning I will tempt them towards wrong. And Allah said, and by my honor and my glory, I swear, so long as they keep coming back to me, I will forgive them. Do what you want. That's what he said to Satan. With that much mercy, he says to the man, you preferred hell? You chose not to say, I'm sorry? You just did not want to make Tawbah for anything? You thought you created yourself? You thought the future was just for you? So then he says, out of anger, then have hell upon hell, upon hell, upon hell. Meaning, why did you pick that? That's not that God wants to punish. He wants to punish no one. God is angry that you ended up there. Why did you choose to go there? Why didn't you want to come and be with me?